everyone welcome to my channel I'm Kai from Kai's Creations if you're new to my channel be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more uh, let's see I do primary I work at Dollar Tree in Post Falls Idaho I do primarily Dollar Tree DIYs and Dollar Tree hauls I also occasionally do hauls from like Walmart or Michaels other places like that um, I have a new segment called Munchy Mondays where almost every Monday I review a bunch of new snacks from the Dollar Tree solely um, and let you know what I think of them I'm trying right now to do more DIY videos because I haven't done that many in a while and my goal is to get to a hundred subscribers right now I'm not even at 50 you guys so again if you like what you see please 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 like comment share subscribe um, and I will get back to you if you leave me comments absolutely I love hearing from you guys um, just with any questions or comments you have and if you'd like to follow me on social media and or if you'd like to order any of my crafts for sale on my Etsy page those links are in the description box below okay so without further ado what are we gonna do today so I was trying to think what to call this because I bet this is something I saw sort of on a couple other DIYs so this is not my original idea but I'm kind of making it my own um, by a little tweaking here and there and you can absolutely do that too i encourage everybody like when you watch diys from me or anyone like tweak it and make it your own for sure oh sorry my roommate's dogs are barking at something um but anyways um it's like a mobile shelf or caddy or movable shelf um anyways you'll see as we go along but what you're gonna need um this part it doesn't really matter what you have i'm using one of these baskets from dollar tree um so this is i'm gonna call it in all you can see i've used it it got paint on it <laughs> but that's okay because my caddy is going to be for projects like when i need something to sit and dry because the paint's wet or something like that i put it in this basket and i put it in the sun or i put it over on the shelf where i'm not working so i can work on other things while that's drying so um anyways but you'll see and then the bottom part is this wooden shelf this was actually i guess from a melissa and doug set but what I got it from is um, there's a page on Facebook that's called Buy Nothing and it's for my area and it's where people just post free boxes of stuff and first come first serve usually you message the person and you go pick it up and so I got this in a free box um, and I personally stained it with some of Waverly's Wax Antique Brown and a little bit of dry brushing with the Waverly white chalk paint um, and then I sanded it a little bit so it was this really light color of wood you guys but I did all that to it to make it look a little bit more rustic and a little bit more cool and I sanded off the Melissa and Doug logo um, so basically what you need for this project though if you don't have something like this you can absolutely substitute whatever you want or you can do two baskets like this it does not matter the basket or bin or whatever thing you're using all that matters is we're going to need two of them and you need two about the same size or width or length this way so if i had two of these i could do the same project if i had a smaller basket but i had two of those i could do the same project that's really all that matters because we're going to be connecting them to these which is part of why this video has taken me so long to make for you guys because i bought one of these they were when i wanted to do this project they were out of these at my dollar tree and i went to quarter lane store and found one but i need two so i got that one and i've been waiting and waiting literally two months later our dollar tree got a bunch in so i got the second one and now i can make it for y'all so what you're going to need is two baskets the same size any baskets or bins will do long as they're the same width or you know length like that um and then two of these 
shower caddies or shower organizers. I don't know what you guys call them. And then you're going to need one plunger. Obviously, we're not using the plunger part. Just took that off and threw it away. And then what I have done, like painting the other part, is I pre-sanded. So I sanded off, I think it was this one, the part that had the little ridges on it that went into the plunger. So I sanded that off using a rotary tool. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend you get it. It makes so many projects so much easier you guys. Anyways, but you can do it with sandpaper. I sanded that off. And then because it made that part narrower, I, I'm OCD and I wanted to make the other part. So I sanded the other part as well, the other end, to make that narrower, nar more narrow, narrower? Is that a word? Anyways, <laughs> to make it the same approximate size so there you go and they're not exact you guys but for my OCD they're close enough so I'm just gonna let it go because I kept sanding and sanding I was gonna sand it away to nothing okay so you need two baskets the same size you need two shower caddies hope I'm not going too fast for anybody you need one plunger without the plunger just the dowel um, you need some paint if you want oh and you definitely need some zip ties i would prefer the big white strong kind but i don't have any right now and our dollar tree is out again like why um so i'm using these tiny black ones but what i did is because in places i want them to be longer um or stronger i connected two together to make that longer now how you do that if you don't know you just take them and just like if you were going to connect that end to that end, you take a second one and you connect it to the other one, push it in until it catches. There you go. Now you've got a longer one and you can just connect that around what you want to connect it around. There you go. Okay, so, oh, let me see. Okay, I'm like barreling through this, you guys. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I want to paint this to match the bottom wooden bin that I have. So again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to because you might not have a bottom wooden bin. You might be using two baskets that you don't want to paint. So that's entirely up to you. But I just want to paint this and set it aside. And I'm using this paint as you can with the Waverly Wax Antique Brown. You can use it as a stain, sort of. That's kind of how I used it on the other one. So I'm going to take kind of a dry brushing approach here, guys. Oh, let me put you down where you can see me. And let me get this light on. There we go. That helps things, doesn't it? All right, there, I think. Okay, so I'm just going to very haphazardly <laughs> and quickly paint this on there okay let's see here just dry brush it all on like that let's see here i mean not really dry brushing i'm just i'm not using water i'm just gonna dry brush it on all the way make sure all sides are covered it does not matter how neatly you do this because really we're just staining it and making it more or less match that bottom basket piece or and or if you know even if you're not doing the bottom wooden piece like I have but you want to make this more rustic looking this is a way to do it and it kind of covers up the imperfections in your sanding as well like a little bit so I mean it all helps right okay so <laughs> I'm like it's really hard to like paint every surface when you gotta have some place to hold it, but your hands are gonna get dirty. That's just how it is. Now wipe off any extra because this paint's kind of expensive. You guys, I'm not gonna lie. Um okay. There we go. I think I got these by the way for eight dollars a bottle about at Walmart. Um, definitely not a Dollar Tree product, but you can use any brown paint or any paint you want if you're going this route. Okay, so I'm going to get a paper towel, or you can also get a craft rag, which I would have done, except my craft rags are kind of dirty right now. So, I'm just going to wipe this like this, and basically, like, try to wipe off the paint. Like, not necessarily trying to wipe all of it off, but I don't think you could, even if you wanted to at this point. Like I said, this works really well as a stain, you guys. It really does. Because it doesn't come all the way off when you're wiping it. It just shows some of that other wood through it. Let me show you if I can show what you show what I mean. Excuse me. 
So take a rag or a paper towel and wipe it down. Now do you see what I mean? It's not the same color it was, but it's not that dark brown all the way either. It's kind of this rustic where it's faded in spots and it looks different in some spots than others. And I, I think it looks better in the light, but you guys get the idea. So then, again, to match my bottom one, I'm going to take some white. Let me put this brush in water. Doo -doo -doo. You guys like my paint cup? I don't drink coffee, so, and I have a hot chocolate cup I love more. So I made this my paint cup. I got it from Dollar Tree. Love is a four-legged word because I love my emotional support animal, which is my dog, Heidi. Okay, so, again, another brush in the meantime. Get this white open. Now this, we really are doing the definition of uh, dry brushing. So I'm going to dip it in the paint. If you guys don't know what dry brushing is, wipe off most of that paint and not using water, very little paint on the brush, and we're just gonna, see, just dry brush it on. Little bits here and there. Not trying to cover the brown or the natural wood, just trying to give it some character. Okay, and match that bottom piece of mine. See? And then when this dries, I might even sand it a little bit. Okay. Okay. I think that is enough. Might even be too much. Okay. Again, wipe off any extra, which there wasn't much of. And then put that in the water cup. Close this up. Da -da -da, if I can. It doesn't want to close. Ah, come on. Okay. Put that over there. There you go. See? Now, later when I sand that, I might have put a little bit too much white, but when I sand that, it's going to come off even more, too. And you can kind of rub it in, scratch it around. But yeah, I'll probably sand that with a little bit of sandpaper, and it'll match the bottom perfectly. I'm super happy with that, you guys. Like I said, I might do a little bit more brown later. I did a little bit too much white in one spot. See? That part's really white. I don't, I don't like that. I like it more like this. With that brown showing through. But anyways, I can fix that in the sanding. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. That's why I wanted to do that first so that could dry. Then I'm going to deal with my hands a little bit. Quick ways I clean up my hands. If you're in the middle of working and you don't want to, if you're lazy like me, you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom and like scrub your hands clean. What I do, cleaning up my mat a little bit here too. It's got paint on it. Um, is two things. Number one, I use hand sanitizer because we are in the days of everyone using hand sanitizer all the time. So I go ahead and squirt a couple daubs of that on and I rub it all into my hands and that literally gets off the majority of paint or whatever I have on my hands. See, look at the difference, you guys. And then I get a wipey, which I always have wipies everywhere in my home all kinds of stuff and I definitely always have some on my craft table to use for crafts and I get one of those and wipe the rest off because the hand sanitizer kind of takes it off but it also just smears it around like it's not going anywhere it's still in your hands so that is a super quick and easy way to wash your hands at your craft table have some white bees have some hand sanitizer and ta-da no more paint hi shh. we're trying to make a video here girl okay so i'm gonna get this put that there whatever uh crate or bin or basket is going on the bottom that's what you want to get out stop heidi okay then the idea is we're going to be putting one of these on this side facing that way and one of these on the other side facing that way. It's okay if the bottom bin is wider than these things. It's still okay as long as it's not like hugely wider. Hi D. No break, thank you. Okay. Um Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna start this for you guys. Um okay. I'll start on this way so you can see, maybe. Okay. Um, so I'm going to line this up in the middle, where that means as much on this side, there's about an inch, there's about an inch on this side too, in the middle. And this box, luckily I wouldn't be able to use it if it didn't, has these holes in it. See, right there? So I'm going to use that with these that I've already put some together, or if you have the strong white ones, even better. 
got to make sure that's really lined up as close as I can and I'm going to put my first one through. So I'm going to go through that hole and around one of the poles on here and I'm going to put it loosely to start with. I'm not going to tighten it yet. There's a reason for that. You want to line things up good. So I'm going to put it like that but not super tight. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do the other one. Again, go through the hole and around one of these bars. Okay, it's next to it. Okay, do that. Okay, now I'm going to go back, make sure it's lined up again where I want it, and kind of holding it in place, <laughs> which isn't easy to do. Okay, let me figure out a way to do this good. Okay, there we go. Tighten it even more, <sighs> as much as I can for now. Then go to the other side, hold it in place where you want it, and tighten that one. Okay. This one doesn't want to tighten more. Oh, I see, because of that. Okay, so I'm tight. I have to tighten the other side too because we we did it like lengthwise like that, if that makes sense. So besides tightening this one, I have to tighten the other one because we connected two together. So that's what happened. You have to tighten both sides. <sighs> that one doesn't want to go. I guess it is kind of as tight as it's going to be. Okay, now, that's a little flimsy. It will get less flimsy later on, but just to make sure, I'm going to take some more of these, and I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can show you. I'm going to go through that second hole and one of these over here, so it just tightens them on. I've got one on each top corner. I'm going to do try to do one on each almost bottom corner, if that makes sense. So that just secures it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to go through there. And I'm going to go through one of these shelf ones, actually. I think that'll be the best hold, probably. Okay. Wait, that just comes through the hole. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I see what I did there. I did that wrong. Okay, so no, we have to go through the actual top hole. We do. Okay, gotta, you know, trial and error here, you guys. I have seen this done on several videos. I have not yet done this myself, so you guys are seeing me do this for the first time, which usually when I do a DIY video, I've done it at least once to practice it before I show you guys. So, okay. All right, so what I did is I went through the bottom hole and of the wood box and the top hole and also around one of these bar things on the white shower caddy so that that's just securing it in one more place come on oh, it doesn't want to go okay there we go and then go as tight as i could and then had to go to the other side to make that one as tight as i could as well there we go okay all right so we have, oh, see, that's much more secure. We have our first one done. Da, 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 da. Okay, so now that that's done, if you want, you can take your scissors and cut off the extra. Let's see, I might just double check that everything's as tight as it can be before I do that, because once you do that, you can't do this. Okay, there we go. That made that a little tighter. Let's see, this one, okay, it's as tight as that's going to go. Okay, I think that went a little bit tighter. What about this side? <clears throat> Hard to get in there, guys. <sighs> Alright, and then these two, that's as tight as it can be. Okay, so then you snip these off. And again, if you had the wider ones, you they would be less noticeable than these black ones. So that's another reason, and they'd be longer and stronger. But you can always, if you don't like the way these look, you can always go in later and just spray paint the whole thing. You don't have to like paint the box like I did or anything. Like I said, make it your own. Do it how you want to do it. I'm just giving you kind of the blueprints, I guess, of how to do this. <laughs> and I'm not cutting these as short as I can be. Maybe, let me try my smaller scissors because it's really hard to get in there those little spaces and cut these off all right gotcha all right let's see la, la, la. may have to get creative with this one there we go go for the bottom yeah 
Okay, there we go. Okay, what do I got? Two more. Oh, these are a little bit more easy to get to. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about the extra things. I'll throw those away after. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got one side on. Okay, so we're going to do the other side exactly like we did that one. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare some of these. I only have one more like that. And I know now I need four like that. So I need to make three more. Um, so for the benefit of this video, I'm going to pause this while I do that part. And then I will come back and show you. We're just going to do the exact same thing with the second shower caddy on the other side. So there you go. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and we have the two, the second side on. So, can you see how it's starting to come together, guys? And it's still a little flimsy, but it's a lot more secure than it was. You've got both sides tacked on with four different uh, zip ties. You can see the positions they're in. Kind of one on top, one on the bottom or middle. Uh, I mean, two on top, two on the bottom or middle. Uh, like that. Okay, so it's time for us to put on our second basket or container. This one's a little bit wider than the other one, but it's okay. I'm going to put this right there. I know that looks like it doesn't give me much room to get in and out of the bottom one, but I think that's okay. And I don't want this much more far up because I want to use this bar to zip tie it on. So this one, I don't think we're even going to need to. Let me see. Okay. We'll just do one short one. We don't need to connect them. And I'm going to put that on one side. And then I'm going to put this second one on the other side. So again, it's okay if you're using these small ones. You don't need to connect two this time. See, just like that. I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Let me see. And... This is slidable at this point, so you can kind of slide it into position if it slides off center or something. Okay, so I'm going to put one here like that. Oh, okay, there we go. And again, no matter what basket or containers you guys are using, like I have this wooden one that I painted and this blue basket, this teal basket, I could paint this if I wanted to. I don't think I'm going to because I don't mind that they don't match perfectly. I think they're it's okay. It's kind of shabby chic cute. I don't know. Um, but you can do whatever you want. You can paint both. You can not paint both. You can absolutely spray paint the whole darn thing to match one color. Um, I don't know. Leave me a comment. Um, if you guys make one of these, I'd love to see it. And... Leave me a comment what you think about mine. Should I paint the basket to match the bottom? Or do you like how this looks? Like, is it okay like that? Because I like it. I mean, but I'd love to hear your opinion. Okay, so you see this is sliding around a bit. We don't want it to do that. So now we have those two middle pieces. We're really going to center this basket. Again, it's a little bit more narrow than the wooden box. But we just want to make sure it's centered between these two things. So you have as much on that side, which is about a fingertip, on the other side as you do on the other side. Then I'm going to come through one of these flowers, and I'm going to come through this bar right here, and I'm going to tighten it so it stays on that corner. Oop, didn't want to go through. And again, I don't think we need to connect two for these. Even these small ones are long enough. Okay, so I'm going to tighten that right where I wanted it. Now it's not going to slide around. Okay. I'm going to go on the other side. Do the same thing. Come through one of these little flowers in the die cut of the basket. And that's the thing too. Whatever containers you do use. Like I said, you can use whatever kind you want. You do, however, want to have them in... Um, have them... Have something that has holes or something in it or even if you have to drill holes you want something that has holes so that you can put these zip ties through there and secure it to the wire shower caddy okay that's not exactly centered as i want it but it's close enough and tightening it is making it even better so there we go all right so we're done with those we're gonna snippy snippy 
Da, da, da. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing on the edges of that. Okay, so I'm going to come through the little flower, like I said, and then I'm coming through this outer bar right here. Coming around that is what I mean. I'm going through the flower and around that so it holds, because this is holding, these two are holding it to the bar. But it still slides back and forth this is going to stop that it's going to hold it to the side and this side where it's going to stay firm in position it's not going to slide around on you and that's a good thing no matter what you're using this basket caddy thing for you don't want it to slide much okay so there's that one let me get this one on here do 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 is that the furthest Ooh, it's kind of i almost need a second one for that okay i don't know Tighten it up. Okay, tighten. Tighten. I'm going to go back and forth on this one so it kind of really gets where I want it. Okay, tighten. Tighten. Come on. Attack of the Titans. Okay. Let me know if anyone gets that reference. I know my kids will. <laughs> I don't even fully get that reference. I just know it from my kids and my ex's family. All right. There we go. Okay. Got it. All right. Yay, we're ready to move to the next step. Hopefully this video won't take an hour. Let's see, we're 26 minutes in. Not bad. Okay, so now you have your shelf. And it's all complete, just about. But look at this upper part. I need to raise you up now. Right here. It's kind of missing something, don't you think? We need da -da -da, a handle, which is where the wooden dowel from the plunger comes in. So, I'm going to leave about an inch sticking out on both sides and stick that up there like that. You see that? So, that's going to be our handle for this thing. Now, this part is a little tricky. We're going to secure it in place later. Um, and you can glue gun it if you want to. I might actually do that, but I don't have my glue gun heated up right now. So, I'm just going to try to... Let's see if I can put... Let's see how I can do this. I was going to do a zip tie around it. Let me see if one will do it. Like that. Okay. There. Okay. Put that in there. If I can now. Okay. Like that. Get it where I want it. And then pull that zip tie. Oh, this is not that easy, y'all. Okay. Mm, here. Maybe I got an idea. Let me do the other zip tie before tightening any of them. Either of them. Either of them. Okay, come on. Ah, come to me. Okay, come on. Okay, there. That's going to hold in place a little bit at least. Okay, so I want it as up to the top as possible. And at least like a couple centimeters hanging out the edge. A couple centimeters to an inch. I'm trying to tighten this. To get it to stay there okay all right now this one same thing pull that as tight as i can to get it to stay there okay oh okay and it's more off this side no it's not it's the same it's about the same okay good enough let me see okay you want to eyeball it here too because you can see if it's going like that that's going to put stress on it you don't want so that means you might want this a little bit more through on each side so it doesn't do that this side is really see i think i didn't sand it enough let me see if i can get it in there uh, let me eyeball it okay it looks all right i'm i'm happy enough with that and like I said, you can use your hot glue gun if you want. I would put a dab of glue right up in here and then push that against it and hold it up until it dries. Maybe have some of those finger covers so you don't burn your finger if the hot glue drips down. But either way, you can zip tie it. You can hot glue gun it. Whatever you want to do. Then, what I'm going to take some... What I'm going to do, sorry, is take some twine... Let me see if I can chew this better. And I'm just literally going to wrap it all directions around this to secure it and make it look cute. So again, I'm sorry, I'm going to pause this um, and show you. Hold on. Got 
thing up there. Okay, I'm going to pause this and wrap it with twine. And like I said, I'm just taking my twine and I'm going to wrap it, you know, figure eight style or whatever, all around the edges of the white thing and this dowel so that it secures it better and it looks cute and it hides the zip, the zip tie or any glue you might have put there. I will be right back and show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was a little bit of an ordeal, I'm not going to lie, you guys. And I kind of wish I had showed you because there is some uh, trial and error and, what is it, um, I can't think of the expression, but um, yeah, it was a, there was a learning curve. That's the expression I'm looking for. So, it wasn't so much a figure eight as much as X's. So, uh, like, if you can see... I would go around this way a few times and then go around that way a few times making an X that looped around the wooden dowel and in between these white things. So it looked nice or looks nice, but also is a very good way of securing it. Let me see. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, you guys. I should have just showed you, but okay. And I left the knots on there really not you can't really see it very well but you can kind of see there was ones going this way and ones going that way making an X and then underneath here going underneath across that way and that way to make sure it not only held it to the top but held it up here so the this dowel is not gonna easily fall down out of there or come out the other way see look at that I'm tugging on it it's pretty secure and then I tied it in a knot at the end. I tied it in a knot to begin it and then wrapped, wrapped, wrapped and then tied it in a knot to end it and I'm just going to cut the ends of that knot off like that. And there we go. We are finished. Okay, so now what you have is this caddy shelf thing that can be moved around because you've got a handle. You can set it on a bookcase or shelf or under a table or wherever you want, and then you can move it. This, and it's got shelves on the side, you guys, okay, as well as these two shelves. So you can use this for anything, you guys. You could use this in your kitchen to put K-cups or whatever you want in it. You can use this in your bathroom to put hand towels or toiletries in. You can use this for so many different things. So if you guys make one, I'd love to see it. Let me know what you made it for, what you used for the baskets, what you're going to use the whole thing for. I would love feedback on this. I personally am going to use this as a project caddy. So when I'm working on a project, if I need to keep all the stuff like the paints or brushes or whatever I'm using for that project can go in these baskets and then I have at least one basket on top where if I need to let something paint dry for a little bit I can do that as well I can even carry this outside to sit in the sun if I need it to so this is going to be a really cool project caddy for me and I'm really pleased with how it came out you guys I think it's so stinking cute and like I said you could paint this all one color you could use different types of baskets or containers you could pretty much make this your own and use it in any room or facet of your home so it's very versatile and let me know what you guys think and if you like this video again please give me a thumbs up subscribe share leave me a comment I'd love to hear from you guys and as always I like to end this on a positive note if no one's told you today you are important you are beautiful you are magical you are worthy you are deserving and I for one am glad you're here thank you so much for stopping by happy crafting everybody bye